All right, guys, I want to talk in this video about some modifications I've made to the spark and to the casing, and really just some sort of tips after using this thing for over a year now. So the first one you'll notice is that I've got these propeller guards on the side. And what these are for is so that when you pick up the drone, and you'll probably notice my thumb has a bit of a cut in it here, and I'll explain that in a minute, but what you'll notice is that when you pick up the drone, these guards stop your thumbs protruding into where the propellers are spinning. This is really important, okay, as I'll explain in a minute. But all it takes is one small gust of wind as you're trying to pick this thing up out of the air. When this thing's flying, say if it's hovering like that, imagine that's the, that's the drone flying flat in midair. If you're trying to pick this thing up, obviously if there's any sort of gust of wind, the drone is programmed to immediately jerk to level against that wind. So say if you try and pick it up like that, and then just as you go to move your hands there, there's a gust of wind, the drone's gonna jerk like that to adjust for the wind, and it's gonna cut your finger. As obviously this is, as obviously you can see here, it's cut into my thumb a bit. So really important, especially if you fly in any windy conditions and you like catching the drone in midair. You don't have to do that, by the way. It's just because the floor was a bit muddy, I didn't want to land on the floor. I would highly recommend getting these, these propeller guards for your fingers. These are about two or three pounds on Amazon. There'll be links to everything I mentioned in the description which you can check out now as you're watching. But yeah, guys, that is that is the main upgrade I've made to this, the guards here, so that when you pinch it out of midair, it's not gonna cut your hands. Now, the next one, I like to travel with my drone and keep it in my bag quite a lot, but I don't wanna damage these joystick uh, controllers here. So what I found is, again, for about two or three pounds on Amazon, you can get this little protector that just goes over the uh, joysticks here. And it means that they can't be they can't be damaged if, you're, if, the, if this thing's in your bag and you're throwing it around or you drop it they're gonna stay in the same place. It's a very easy way of protecting your controller. Highly recommend you get this uh, this guard here for the joysticks. Right, a few other things about the drone. The DJI Spark, you're probably wondering in 2018, is it worth flying? I'll get into that in a minute, You know whether you should get this or the Mavic Air, because I do have an opinion on that. But what you'll notice here is I've cut, I've cut small parts of frame around the drone casing. The reason for that is that I feel like when with most people, when you have a drone, especially when you have a drone like this, you wanna be able to whip it out of your bag and get footage really quickly. You don't wanna to have to be fiddling around with things like this. So what I do is I just leave these things on all the time. But if I went before when I did that, they, it didn't actually fit into this case. Um, the lid didn't close, and that's because the, the, edges of these, the edges of these guards here protruded into the foam. So what I've done is I've cut little holes in the foam so that it now fits into the case perfectly and I can close it uh, without it being a problem. And I feel like that will really save time. It means I don't have to worry about putting these guards on every time. I won't be tempted to just forget to do it because they're already there, they're always on. So that's what the little upgrade I made. That's a little upgrade I've made to the casing of this, you know, in particular, this, this uh, DJI Spark casing. Another thing I would highly suggest everybody gets at least two spare batteries. You are always gonna want more batteries, but I feel like two is perfect, especially if you've got this carry case like I have, because you can have one in the drone and then one either side. That will give you about half an hour flight time in terms of total flight time, which is more than enough for most scenes. Um, another thing I've done, which is quite a new addition, is I've cut a small hole in the foam here. And the reason for that is it means that I can actually charge the DJI Spark through a micro USB cable in my bag with a power bank. So it means I could have something like this, I could have a power bank in the bag next to the DJI Spark case, the wire goes into here and charges the drone while it's in the case. And you know, especially if you're going on a long hike or something, and you want to charge your your drone. Say if you film one part while you're at the bottom of a mountain, and you go up to the top of the mountain, it means you can charge the drone while you're climbing up, which is quite it's quite useful for me. Another thing I do, which is uh, I don't know if you guys know about this, but if you if you're using an iPhone with these controllers, okay, the chances are you're going to get a much better signal from the Wi-Fi and a much better you know experience if you actually put the phone in and then put your phone onto airplane mode. This means it's going to disable all incoming connections from things like mobile data and the mobile network, but the Wi-Fi is going to be almost amplified a bit. I find I always get a bit better of a signal when I have my phone in airplane mode. Uh, it just means I can you know, get that, more, that bit more control over the drone. It's not going to be as laggy, and uh, it's just going to give me a better experience overall. So that's really the main things I've modified, I guess, about the DJI Spark. Um, I have to say, after flying it for about a year, I would still highly recommend getting the DJI Spark um, at least as a contender to the Mavic Air. Like if you have the money, get the Mavic Air obviously, but then this still performs so, so well compared to any other drone I've tried. You know, it's perfect 
in terms of size and weight. It fits right into your bag. You don't need to worry about anything with this drone. But then if you have the money, the Mavic Air obviously is a better option. It is obviously a better option. The only thing is the Spark. I kind of like the fact that it's not foldable. I feel like with a foldable drone like the Mavic Air, if you do crash it, or if you, you know smash into a tree and then it falls from, from a, a fair height, I feel like it won't have as much resilience as this you know, full-on solid frame the, the uh, Spark has. So, you know, take of that, take from that what you will. I think the GDI Spark is a great drone. But then again, I am biased because obviously I've, I've got one. Um, yeah, the Mavic Air is obviously a better drone in terms of specs, but there's not a lot wrong with the DJI Spark. I think it's really cool. So there'll be a link to this in the description, links to all the parts I mentioned, the propeller guards, the joystick guards. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.